What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing great and welcome to Roman Percussion. My name is Will Roman. On this channel I upload different rhythms as well as tips to help you as a percussionist. So if that interests you, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like button as it really does help with the channel and allows YouTube to share this video with other percussionists. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to do a comparison video between a set of beginner bongos and professional bongos. Let's get started. Alright guys, so let's do a comparison on these two bongos. So the first one I got here, these are the LP Aspire beginner set bongos. These bongos are just a you know straight up beginner set. The skins on them, you know, very smooth, kind of cheap skins, you know, nothing fancy. They come with the comfort curve uh, rims on them, as well as the traditional Cuban uh, bottoms right here. And they just come with a half inch uh, lug, half inch lug. So just a standard size for tuning. Pretty lightweight, you know, and the sizes, it's a six and a three quarter inch macho and a eight inch hembra. So they're a little bit on the smaller side compared to a standard uh, LP Bongo professional series that you get. But um, definitely cool, you know, for any beginner, if you're looking to uh, gift these for a child as well, these are pretty cool. I'm gonna put both of these two bongos, uh, I'm gonna put them on the scale so you can see the difference on weight. So the Aspires were 9.4 pounds. Let's see how much these are. 10.4 pounds. Okay, so the next bongo I have here is my LP Accent Eddie Montalvo series bongos. These bongos are actually discontinued, but if you get the uh, LP Generation 2 bongos, it's the same thing, same specs. The only difference with uh, those bongos and these are just the artwork. This is Eddie Montalvo's artwork that he has on his bongos and his clone as, as well as on this side. It has, uh, if you can see, it has his initials on there, the EM. Uh, let's see if you can see it right there on the rims, but it has his initials on there. So on these bongos, this is a seven and a quarter inch macho and an eight and a five eighths ambra. Okay, now these skins are super cool, nothing wrong with them. Um, if you wanna use them for gigs, you absolutely can. Some folks actually prefer a thicker skin. These skins are kinda on the thinner side, but definitely, you know, if you change the skins, you'll have a perfect bongo. These come with the comfort curves, which add a little bit of weight to them. And these bottoms, they add some weight as well. But as you can see, if you see these lugs, they're much thicker than the Aspires. Aspires just have the normal half inch uh, lug nut, and these have a much thicker, higher quality tuning system. As well as, if you can see, I actually have these bongos tuned already and you see how much they've been cranked. They still can get cranked some more. Uh, so I haven't, I didn't really have to put a lot of tension on these. But if I go back to the Aspires, you'll see that in order to get a decent sound out of them, I had to crank these up significantly. You see that? So um, it just depends, you know, on, on what, you, what you like and what you prefer. Now I know there's those out there that are gonna say, well, you know, there's other uh, professional series bongos. Doesn't, you know, just have to be a mass produced uh, bongo, which is absolutely true. You know, you have um, Mo Perk from Canada with uh, Francis Mierce. Uh, he has an excellent bongo that he makes, as well as congas, batas. He makes a bunch of stuff. Um, and Francis, he does an excellent job. He can do anything that you want, put any kind of wood or different size bongos. He can do that. Uh, you have Manita Percussion. He's also based out of Georgia. Um, he's also another great option. He has his own skins that he puts. He can also make it whatever size. And he has all kinds of woods that he uses. And uh, there are also other craftsmen that are in Florida that I've heard as well uh, that make excellent instruments. 
So for bongo players out there, there's definitely options out there for you guys. You know, if you don't know that already, you know, rather than using uh, just, you know, your typical mass produced uh, products. Let's see how these bongos sound, guys. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some value from it. If you haven't done so already, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that like button. I hope you enjoy your weekend and I'll see you next Friday. Peace.